Alright guys, good day. So again, uh, here are the random problems na isosol natin for the topic na simple stress. Okay, so simulan natin. So for our first problem, uh, let me just select my pen. So basahin natin yung guys yung problem. So determine the largest weight W that can be supported by the two war wires AB and AC. So the working stresses are 100 megapascal for AB and 150 megapascal for AC. The cross-sectional areas of AB are 400 and AC na 200 respectively. So again, uh, the required in this problem is to determine the largest weight, W. So ito yung hinahanap. So this is the unknown in the problems. So before that, uh, gawa na, sigure, uh, ito na lang. Ito na lang din yung free body diagram na gawin natin. And then let's identify the force acting in AB and AC. So since this is a two wire, so alam naman natin guys na apag wire, ang kinakarry niyang load is in tensile force. So let's consider the joint A. So dito tayo gagawa ng X and Y axis. So gamitin ko siyang pula. Ayan. So X and Y. So eto, so again kapag sinection mo yan or pinutol mo siya dyan, so, meron ka dito ang tensile force. Ayan. So, this is the force acting at AB. So, let's name this as T, A, B. Okay? And for AC, so, pag ganito siya, acting at 45 degrees. So, let's name this as our T, A, C. And then, last will be the weight W. Ayan. Which is the unknown in the problem. So, since may free body diagram na tayo, uh, pwede na tayong pumunta doon sa step ng equilibrium equation. So, guys, uh, two equation to unknown. Okay? So, ano-ano nga equation na yun? So, we have the summation of forces x. Siguro, unahin na lang natin si summation of forces x and ang gawin nating uh, first value is yung ac. Ano? So, siya yung magko-control ng direction natin. So, assuming all to the right forces as positive. So, take summation of forces x is equals to 0. So, let's start with TAC. So, we have TAC and then multiply by cosine uh, 45. And then minus, since yung x component ni AB is going to the left, so minus TAB and then cosine 30. Okay? So, equals to 0. Alright, so this will be our equation Number one. So the next equation will be summation of forces y, assuming upward direction as positive. So since ito naman, pataas naman yung y component niya. So upward yung gawin natin positive. Take summation of forces y, so we will have TAC and then sine 45 and then yung AB mo. So since pataas rin yung y component niya, so that will be TAB sine 30 and then minus w so ang gawin ko guys i-transpose ko na siya abila sa so, abila para maging positive siya or that will be equals to w so this will be our equation number 2 so guys since ito is ano diba a b and a c is still unknown and yung w hindi rin natin alam so ang technique ko dito guys is i-input ko siya sa cal q but yung W, uh, lalagyan ko muna siya ng value. And yung pinakamagandang gamitin value dyan is 1. So say W is equals to 1. Siyempre makakahanap tayo ng mga value ng AC and AB. So kung ano yung numerical value niya, so dudugsungan mo lang siya sa dulo ng W. Okay? So tip lang yun eh. So open lang natin guys yung calculator. Ayan. So, encode mo lang to. Again, uh, mode 5, 1. Pero ito mga programmable calc, I think bawal na sa board exam. Ano? So, by method of elimination, pwede, pwede nyo rin naman tong isolve. Or, ang gawin mo dito, so, manually, 
if you're going to compute for the value. So, open ko lang yung pula. So, transpose mo tong AB. Maaagawa ka guys sa equation ng ganyan. And then, i-divide mo lang siya ng cosine 45. Ano? Tapos ito, yung value ng AC, isaksak mo dito. Ano? Para uh, maakuha ka ng term in terms of AB. Tapos yung AB mo is in terms of W. And then, substitute mo lang yun. Ilagay mo ulit dito sa equation na to para maahanap ka naman ng value ng AC with respect to W. So, para mas mabilis lang tayo, eto, gamitan na lang natin siya ng calc -U. So, encode natin. So, cosine 45 si uh, AC, ito yung para sa A. And yung AB, para sa mga value ni B. And CC, yan yung constant. So, ito nga, yung W, isinet muna natin siya na 1. So, cosine uh, 45. And then, negative uh, cosine 30. And then, 0. Okay, so next, uh, for the second equation, so that is sine 45. And then, uh, positive sine 30. And then, we have 1. Okay, so the value for AC, again, so equal siya guys sa 0 0.8966, 0 0.8966 of W. And then, for AB, so that is 0 0.7321. So 0 0.7321 W. Okay. All right. So now since we have now the value of your AC and AB in terms of W, uh gagamitin natin guys yung working stress. Ano? Etong dalawang to. I-check natin diyan kung alin diyan o saan dyan sa dalawang stress na yan, yung uh, stress kung saan marireach niya yung unang uh, limit. What I mean is, uh, i-check natin, kasi ang ibig ko sabihin dito, hindi naman kasi marireach ng AC, AC and AB yung stress or limiting stress nila. Kasi ang working stress mo kay AB is 100 megapascal. Pero hindi naman ibig sabihin nun, na kapag na-reach ni AB yung 100 megapascal, marireach rin ni AC yung 150 megapascal. May isa dyan na mauuna niyang ma-reach yung uh, working stress niya. Okay? So again, ulitin ko, hindi nila sabay na marireach yung working stress. So sinabi lang sa statement na to, na si AB, ang kaya kong dalhin na stress is 100 megapascal. And ako, as AC, kaya kong dalhin is 150 megapascal. Okay, so ang gagawin natin guys, since meron na nga tayong value ng AC and AB in terms of W, i-check muna natin kung alin dito sa dalawang to uh, yung stress na unang maaka-reach sa limits nila. So let's just say na, ano, pipili lang naman tayo eh, wala naman problema dito eh. Kasi from that answer, malalaman natin if tama yung makukuha na sagot. So let's just say na si AB, say AB, Reaches working stress first. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yung working stress mo kay AB is equals to 100 megapascal. Ngayon ang tanong dito, what will be the stress of your AC? Okay? So, to check that, uh, yan, so, again, ang stress, di ba equals lang siya sa P? Or for this uh, example, yung P natin, or yung force, is yung tension at AB. Over the area ni AB. Okay? So, just substitute the value. So, 100. So, hindi ko muna isusulat yung unit. Ha. Guys, tandaan nyo lang na kapag megapascal, Dapat yung mga units natin is in terms of Newton per mm squared. So, ibig sabihin guys, ang makukuha natin value ng W dito is in terms of Newton. Kasi ang ating area is mm. Okay? So, TAB, kung saan yung AB nga in terms of W is 0 0.7321W. Again, ang makukuha natin W dito is in Newtons. 
over area ni AB. So, tingnan mo buti. So, nauna yung AB. So, siya yung C400. Okay. So, what will be the value of W? So, 100 times uh, 400 and then divided by uh, 0 0.73 to 1. So, that is uh, 54,637. Uh, 3446. 3446 uh, Newton. Okay? So, guys, uh, W na yun eh. Pero hindi ibig sabihin yun yung tama sagot. Again, we need to check first if yung case na... What if yung AC ang unang na-reach ng 150 megapascal? So, check muna natin ito. Ah. So, since meron na tayong weight na 54,637, uh, we will substitute that and check if what will be the stress in AC. Okay? So, stress in AC. So, yan mo lang yung uh, value ni TAC in terms of W. So, that is 0 0.8966. And then, yung W, eto. So, times 54,637.3446 Newton. Okay, so, divided by the area, which is equals to 200 mm squared. So, what will be the value of stress AC? So, answer na lang. So, answer, and then times uh, 0 0.8966. And then divided by uh, 200. So that is 244.9392 megapascal. Okay, so what can you observe from our answer for stress in AC? So again, ang working stress natin for AC is 150 megapascal. So that is what of 244? Okay, so tama. Ibig sabihin, 244 is greater than uh, 150 mega pascal. So what can you conclude from this value? Or this answer na nakuha natin for stress AC? Correct. So, kapag ang kinonsider mong weight is yung 54,637 newton, uh, this is not okay. Kasi nalabag mo na yung rule eh. From the statement na yung working stress for AC is 150 megapascal lang. Lumampas ka doon sa limit niya eh. Ibig sabihin, kung ganito yung load na dinadala niya, ang tendency ni AC is, what? Malalagot siya dito. Mapuputol. Mag-fail yung yung system. Ano? So, magkakary na lang ng lahat ng load na yan will be AB. And if that is the case, uh, possible na si... AB mo is mabibigtal din kasi siya na lang magdadala nito. Most probably lalampas siya sa limit niya na 100 megapascal. So this is incorrect. Therefore, the correct answer will lie if yung AC mo reach to reach <laughs> reaches say AC reaches the working stress first or ang yung unang magyi-yield is yung uh, AC. Ano? So, stress AC, which is 150 megapascal. So, let's check that if yun nga yung mangyayari. So, ang hinahanap ngayon, uh, what will be the stress in AB? Again, ulitin ko ha. So, hindi yan sabay marireach yung working stress nila. So, may isang mauuna dyan. Kaya, chinacheck natin if sino sa dalawa yung mauuna. Ngayon, nagkataon nga, yung AB... Nung chinect natin na siya yung mauuna, hindi yun ang nangyari in actual. Kasi ang lalabas na stress sa kanya is 244. Lampas. So, kung hindi dito kay AB, so therefore, most probably na kay AC siya. Ano? So, stress AC, ganun lang din. Same process, guys. So, i-check natin yung AC. So, stress ni AC is equals lang sa... <coughs> uh, pagsamahin ko na dito, ah. So, tension over area. So, quantify na lang natin as AC. So, tension in AC over area in AC. 
to that is equal. So, ito, again, is 150. And then, AC is 0 0.8966. So, W maukuha natin all over the area na 200. So, what will be W here? So, calculator. So, 150. So, times 200. And then, divided by 0 0.8966. So the answer is 33,459.7368 Newton. So i-check pa rin natin ha. So pero I'm sure ito na yung tamang sagot. Pero check natin siya uh, what will be the actual o yung actual stress na may experience ni AB if na reach ni AC 150 megapascal. So, stress in the way B, ganun lang ulit. So, kunin natin to. Diretso ko na guys ha. 0 0.7321 times 33. 1,459.7368 all over uh, area ni AB. So, that is uh, over 400. So, this actual stress ni AB when AC reaches 150 megapascal is equals to so answer na lang uh, times 0 0.7321 and then divided by 400 so what is our answer for that so that is 61.2397 so mega pascal so from that answer so ano ba yung ating limit for AB so for AB ang working stress niya is 100 so 61 is less than 100 mega pascal therefore this is okay ano kasi meron ka pang around 39.8 something na uh, allowance ano so kaya niya pa even mas mataas dito na weight okay so that ah, hindi na pala niya kaya uh, if Para kay AB lang, kaya niya pa ng mas malaki dito. Ano? Pero since pareho sila na i-carry eh, ang limit lang kasi ni AC, ang kaya niya lang weight is ito. Ano? So in short, hindi talaga siya pwede. Pero kung sa AB, sinasabi niya, ah, kaya ko pa ha, kasi 61 pa lang yun na atin ko. Hanggang 100 ako. Kaso ikaw, hanggang ano ka lang, 33. So ako na lang yung mag adjust para sa'yo. Sana all. Okay guys, so the answer is this one, 33. So, I'll give you 3 minutes to copy the solution. So, you may start copying.
Alright guys, so let's proceed with the next problem.